All right, man. So in today's video, we will be rocking with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, remember when Madden first dropped and we was like, yo, we were trying to figure out which quarterbacks had gunslinger. And they was like, yo, Jalen Hurts got gunslinger. You know what I'm saying? He about to be that one. He about to be that guy. You know what I'm saying? And um, he's not a bad quarterback, but I think he's the worst quarterback on here with gunslinger. Either him or Trevor Lawrence. But I feel like Trevor Lawrence get the ball out faster than Jalen Hurts. And you guys will see that in this video. Like, to really think that he got gunslinger is crazy to me. Um, it's actually crazy because these passes is like, bro, there's no way you got gunslinger. There's no way they equipped you with the, the same gunslinger that that um, Aaron Rodgers got. There's just, there's just no way. You know what I'm saying? But um, Eagles are a very, very high ability-based team, man. You got quarterback with ability. You have running back with ability. You have receiver. Two receivers with ability. Um, with 97 speed, Quez Watkins. Um, tight end used to have ability. I think they took it from D Dallas Goddard. Um, you got two offensive linemen, if I'm not mistaken, with abilities. Um, two def uh, a defensive tackle, a defensive end with ability. Then you got a safety, uh, a corner with ability. So it's like eight or nine players with abilities. And in this video, you guys will see me playing against the San Francisco 49ers, which is a very, very high ability based team as well. So um, very, very good game. And I did not know this until the end of the video, but this guy is undefeated. This guy has not lost a game of Madden. Um, there's stipulations to it that you guys will see at the end, but he hasn't lost a single game of Madden. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, do me a big favor, man. Smash that like button. I got to start telling y'all that. And I've been telling y'all that. And y'all been doing a better job. Not the, not the greatest job, but y'all been doing a better job. And I appreciate y'all for just trying. You know what I'm saying? So, smash that like button. If you guys are new, hit that follow button. Make sure you guys comment down below. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah, big storm coming, black rain coming, first in the world, tell me who won it, winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee, I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep, big storm coming, black rain coming, first in the world, tell me who won it, winning by 40, I ain't taking no knee, I'm running up scores, I'm throwing it deep. Alright man, let's see who we're using today, um, I want to use a team with a decent quarterback man, like, cause I want to at least feel like I can... Throw a dot if I need to, and it's not many good teams with decent quarterbacks, man. Um, I, I I just hate I hate Jalen Hurts because he got gunslinger, but he ain't got but he ain't he don't get that ball out fast. But we gonna use him, man. They just got a, a, a incredible squad. Uh, DeAndre Swift got balance beam and energizer. Um, 88 speed tight end fullback. Um, AJ Brown has wide receiver Prentice run off elite and short out elite. Um, Devontae Smith got run off elite and mid out elite. Also got 97 speed Quest Watkins. Um, let's see, Dallas Goddard had ability, I guess they stole it from him. Um, funny, I played against him in college. Funny, I played against him because I used to guard him. Uh, I guarded him for three years, man. Actually, no, I guarded him for two years. Um, my sophomore year, I guarded him. And then I was suspended my junior year, so I didn't play him. But I guarded him my senior year, too. Uh, he played for South Dakota State. We beat South Dakota State my senior year. Um, I think he might have had, like, two catches for some yards. But um, I played very, very good defense versus him. Like man to man, like tight tight end. We played a lot of man to man, and um, the one catch I say I gave up one catch for like fifteen yards. It was on like a post. Uh, the other catch, well, I mean, I'm not gonna say necessarily I gave it up, but I did. No, I didn't, cause I'm gonna tell you what happened, right? So we was kind of playing bracket on him, right? Um, which was a man inside of him and a man outside of him. He was the best receiver on their team, pretty much. So. I was playing outside of him, and the safety was playing inside of him pretty much. So, I got all outside cuts. The safety got all inside cuts. Uh, he caught two posts. Not even like two posts, like two skinny. They were like not like actual posts. They were like two skinny posts. Like, run directly at me, and I'm going outside leverage. I got to stay outside leverage in case he runs out right or corner out. And then he would break off inside, and that's pretty much what the safety would be playing, all inside cuts. So, um, you know, I'm on him. 
bam, off the like five yards, right? I'm five yards off. He come at me outside stem. I jam with my right hand, you know what I'm saying? And then I, you know what I'm saying? Transition, boom, jam with the right hand in the chest. Transition to playing outside, you feel me? And he like kind of stick me like outside, push off me outside, and then lean inside to where the safety was supposed to be, and he was catching it in the seam. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't say that's on me because I got all outside throws. I, if he would have beat me on a corner route or out route, then I'd be like, okay, that's on me. But you know what I'm saying? Regardless, he had, he only had two catches that game. We ended up winning the game. Um, great player, great player. I liked him a lot. He showed a lot of respect. Um, like on every rep that I was guarding him or something, he'd be like, good coverage, bro, good coverage. Good, good, good D, bro. Good D. You feel me? So, a lot of respect for him as a player. Um, even in the NFL, a lot of respect for him. You know what I'm saying? But um, I done played some guys, man. I done. I have I have played some guys. All right, who's the corner, man? Who's the, Rogers and Slate. So, I got Mingo and who? Maddox in the slot. Do they still got Maddox? Maddox in the slot. Okay, linebacker. <sighs> Let's see, linebacker, 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 linebacker. Sidney Brown, and we'll send 91 speed through the A gap. Um, Jalen Carter has reach elite unpredictable. On this edge, we have a Sean Reddick who has <laughs> stripper specialist, no outsiders, and edge threat. And on the other side, we'll have Nolan Smith Jr., 92 speed. In the slot, we're going to go with Devontae Smith. Um, safeties, we're going to rock with Kevin Byers. They took his ability from him. And then this safety can be who? We can go James Bradbury. James. James Bradbury. And we're going to rock out like that, man. Today is a very, very interesting topic of conversation. It's a Madden-related uh, related conversation. I thank you guys. I like this, man. Before we get into the video, man, smash the like button. Comment down below if you guys are new. I don't know why I just left Philly Playbook, even though we're going to Philly again. But if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Let's get into it. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy, prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With flex play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes' touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with prize picks, including Famous Los, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, prize picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, prize picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download prize picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. All right, one thing I hate in this Madden industry, bro, this is what I hate, right? When somebody call you out for a game, another content creator call you out, right? And it's like, you have to play him. Like, you have to. He called you out. You got to play him or you're ducking. It, it, can't, it, it, it don't even have to be a content creator. If anybody down below in the comment section is calling you out, Whatever the case may be, they call you out. If you don't accept it, you ducking, you weird, you lame. You supposed to accept all smoke. That's what. That's what. That's what. That's what. I'm getting out of this. And it's crazy because like not everybody is on your level. You know what I'm saying? And you know that as a as a player. Um, but you know people be wanting to see. You know what I'm saying? People be just be wanting to see, and it's like. Bro, who is this? Who who like who signed off on this? Who thinks that this should be a game? Like who thinks that this guy is good? And it be like casuals that think that certain people are good. And no lie, that shit pissed me off more than anything. Because if somebody called me out down below in the comment section, it's like and I don't play them, it's like, bro, you gotta Okay. 
It's like, bro, you got to play him. And it's like, I don't really have to play him. It's like, yeah, you do, bro. Like, you have to play him. It's like, I don't. And then somebody will say, bro, you're ducking smoke then, bro. You're ducking wreck. Like, and it's like, it's crazy because I manned him up. And it's like, who is this guy? What makes you think this guy's comp? Like, what? What? It's crazy. And I just went through that, right? I literally just went through that. And it's not, and it's like, I didn't even care to play these other content creators, but I just had to go through that. And, and the crazy thing about it, I had to go through that and prove myself. I had to prove myself. I had to play Chibata Mitch. I had to play, I had to play Eyeball Senior. I had to play. Oh, that should be a pick. I had to play uh, Scan. I had to play uh, The Kid. And it's like, I knew personally, like I knew, I can watch content. I can watch content creators and say, okay, they can't fuck with me. You feel me? I can watch, you know what I'm saying? I can watch certain players and be like, okay, I don't even know what fucking route that was. Can you show me what route that was? Simple corner route? It's like he went up and ran like an out route. It wasn't even like a corner route. It was an out route. Damn. But it's like I can I can watch certain content creators and be like, this motherfucker can't fuck with me. Like, this is not even a game. This is pointless. Like, and it be casual. It's like people that just 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 watch them and just be like, mm, I think that might be a good game. And it's like So when I buy, whenever people do down below in the comment section talking shit, nine times out of ten, I be like, bro, you can't beat me, bro. Like I'm not about to waste my time, you know what I'm saying? Because like this is this is pointless, you know what I'm saying? Because then if I do entertain that right there, then guess what's gonna be next? They're gonna throw somebody else at me who's a casual, which is I literally just went through this. They're gonna throw another casual at me. They're gonna throw another content creator at me. They're gonna throw another trash talker at me. And it's gonna be pointless, you know what I'm saying? And these are like these are like these are like games that really don't even make sense, like. Like, when have we ever seen these people on any type of leaderboard? Right? We ain't seen these guys, these content creators on. And no disrespect to nobody. But I'm about to I'm about to prove a point, pretty much. But we don't... Yeah, he does not have Gunslinger. We don't see these, these people on no type of leaderboards year in and year out. Um, we just see these people play casual fans. We just see these people, you know what I'm saying, stream... Versus their their fans pretty much, and then we look at them and say, "Oh, they beat their fans a lot. These people must be good." But we see we see me on leaderboards year in and year out, bro. Like I'm on I'm number one, damn near every single year, bro. J bro, Jalen Hurst has no like, he don't have gunslinger, bro. I don't care what nobody say. He don't have gunslinger. If he do, it's the worst gunslinger I've ever seen in my life. This is this is this is this is terrible. This is terrible. And and what I'm trying to compare it to is this right here, right? That is not gunslinger. I don't you can't you can't tell me that's higher what, 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 Grant's faster passing speed. So his shit would be super slow if he did have if he didn't have gunslinger, his shit would be even slower than that, is what y'all telling me. Shit is crazy. Shit is shit is disrespectfully crazy. Shit is disrespectfully crazy. He ain't threw a fast he ain't threw a fastball yet. This nigga throwing straight change ups. But this this right here, right? I'm scrolling on Instagram and somebody the reporter just now asked the the, the reporter just asked Anthony Edwards on a potential 1v1 versus Adam fucking Sandler. We sit here and watch. It's not gunslinger, bro. We sit here and watch Anthony Edwards day in and day out versus fucking good comp, bro. We not see, we not watching Ant at the fucking Rucker at the fucking YMCA. We watching him versus motherfucking pros. Excuse my language. Pros every single day. 
play at the highest level. That is not gunslinger. And we and, and we having a conversation versus Adam Sandler. And the reporter was being like, he was he was dead serious. He was like, like, come on, bro. Like, he was like, he asked, well, do he think that he can be Adam Sandler like, like two, like 11 0, make it take it. And the report and, and was like, bro, listen. This nigga's not scoring on me, bro. Niggas not y- y'all watching me play every single day. Y'all think you really finna score on me? And the reporter was like, like honestly, bro, like Adam Sandler's a decent player, bro. He's a he's a solid player. He's a solid pickup player, bro. Like you don't think he can score on you? And it's like, nigga, it's like what are we what are we even talking about here? One on one, game eleven. What's Come the on, final score? Come on, man. is he dropping any buckets on no. you? No. Zero. Not in my plan for real. You holding him on yeah. a goose egg? No. What? You watch me play every night. You think you're going to score on me? Who's a, who's a hooper, though? <laughs> man, what you think I am? He's low key, a decent pickup player, man, right? No. Don't stand a chance. You're shutting him out 11 0. 11 0. Make it take it. Make it take it. Make it take it, too. One stop. Y'all think y'all think Adam Sandler can stop Anthony Edwards from doing anything? And then check ball. Bam. Check ball. Boom. How Adam Sandler, what he gonna, he gonna when he get the ball after the check, he gonna have to turn his back and throw up a hook shot or some weird shit, and he better pray it go in. He can't take a dribble. He better not try to better not try to dribble. And then defensively, what can he possibly do defensively? But this reporter was like dead ass serious, bro. Like he was like so serious, like and he was like, come on, bro, like like come on, you watch me play every single night, bro. That shit, that shit, like, struck a nerve to me. I'm like, that must be how it feels to, like, get compared to these casual-ass Madden players, bro. And no disrespect, no disrespect, but, like, some matchups ain't even worth, like, talking about. And Edwards versus Adam Sandler is not even, like, a discussion, bro. Like, that, that is, like, that is, like, top-tier, that is top-tier disrespect. Tell, tell, me, tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Adam Sandler, you could have named a college player at least. They got Aunt Edward versus the motherfucker that's 40 something years old. And, and was serious. Like, like, like the, the reporter was like, the reporter was dead ass serious, bro. Like, he was dead ass serious. Like, That blow that I ain't gonna lie that that for real blows my mind. That for real blows my mind. Can't even lie to y'all. That blows my mind. Can my contain work, please? <sighs> He's throwing that to the to fucking Kittle who's who's bagged. He's throwing that to Kittle who is bagged. But guess what the topic of conversation is now? Guess what? Guess what the expectations is now? We are, casuals are expecting, you know, Adam Sandler to, to prove him. Uh, casuals are expecting Aunt Edwards to prove himself now. <sighs> Great ball. Now Ant's supposed to line it up with fucking Adam Sandler. <laughs> now Ant is expected to play Adam Sandler in a 1v1 just to see if, just to see if Adam Sandler can score. You know what I'm saying? Now the now the now the conversation is, you know what I'm saying? Ant said he can beat him eleven and zero. Now it's not about Ant winning no more. It's about can Ant beat him eleven to zero? You feel me? If Adam Sandler score one point, then that's 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 the goal. That's kind of like when I when I was playing these content creators. Like if they scored a decent amount of points on me, then they was pretty decent. It's like bro, you expected to win, bro. But like if they put up a good fight against you, then bro, they kind of decent, right? And it's like, the objective is to win. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, like, whether y'all expect me to go out there and beat these people uh, 58-0 to zero is, you know what I'm saying? That's y'all's expectation. But at the same time, it's like, when people do put up a good fight, it's like, all right, these guys can play a little bit. I'm, I'm just so done with this game, bro. 
Uh, you just can't win, bro. You just... I, I'm done with this game, bro. That shit is just disrespectful. <sighs> that is just disrespectful. That is just... That is just... Dis that is just... That is just bad. Damn, that's bad. That's on me. That's on me. Everybody played, they got perfect, and I got to come through and make that tackle. That's on me. <sighs> That's on me. But that, but but think about it though, right? They expect an ant to really play that game. Like, yo, meet up with Adam Sandler and play that shit, bro. Run that shit and play hard, bro. Play like you play in the in a, play like you play in the NBA, bro. Lock his shit down, and it's a lose lose situation for ant. If he beat Adam Sandler, cool, goddammit. You just beat fucking Adam Sandler. Whoop the fucking dude. You did what we expect you to do. And like I said, if he do win, he that's what he's supposed to do. If he if he let Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler score one point, it's like, damn, how you let this scrub score a point on you? It's like it's a lose lose, bro. But guess what it is? It's it's wait a second. It's entertainment for the casuals. Cause I know damn sure I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that matchup. That's 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 garbage for me. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that at all. You feel me? That that's not going. That's that does nothing. That does nothing for me. Me watching Aunt, Aunt Edwards with on Adam Sandler does nothing for me. You know. But that's 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 entertainment these days, man. We block Devontae Smith. You, you don't know how to block, bro. That is entertainment in today's world. It's sad, bro, when you think about it. It's sad. Like, motherfucker, I sit here and play again. I just made it to the fucking Western Conference Finals. And we sit here talking about a matchup versus... Because we see a couple clips of this nigga playing wreck ball and shooting a couple baskets and nigga, what? <laughs> I'm still like I ain't gonna lie, I'm still shocked about it. I'm still shocked. When I came across that video, I'm like, nah, this ain't serious, is it? <sighs> Just block, man. Just block. We got touchdowns, bro. I could have threw my crosser. I could have threw my slant. We got touchdowns, man. And then you go to cover fucking two. And gonna try to press it. Brown, you gonna run outside of that or what? Great ball. <sighs> great ball. Great ball. Great ball. And yes, I'm comparing fucking, yes, I'm comparing basketball to Madden, yes. A lot of people are not going to understand it, but like some matchups just not really worth seeing, bro. And a lot of matchups is literally just for the entertainment. But for like, for the guy who obviously know he's better, it's a lose-lose situation. It, it's more, it's more, for it, it's more nervous for Anthony Edwards. It, it, I would be, for Anthony Edwards, he's the most nervous. Yeah, you got skill, bro. Hell yeah, you got skill. Yes, you the, you the NBA player. You are the NBA player. You are the NBA player, bro. So it's like you are expected to to go out there and just be great. <sighs> just can't man up shit. Man up shit is pointless on this fucking game. Literally man it up. I expect him to run in front of that slant and pick that shit off. But yeah, of course not, you know. Of course not. Oh fucking course not. So question, right? Question. I had a purple out there. Can y'all explain to me? Just just to me, what is my purple gonna play? Is he gonna play anything? He literally played nothing. He literally played nothing, bro. He literally did not play nothing. Okay, let me guess. Do it again.
Thank you. <laughs> bro, get the fuck out of my game, bro. Like, get, just get, just get the fuck out my game, bro. I can't make this. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up, bro. This is this just cannot be made up. This just cannot be made up, bro. Thank you. Fuck. Thank you. This is why nobody takes regs serious, bro. Cause you can just throw blind shit, blind bat shit, and catch it. And here's the thing, right? So when I played Shibata, right? When I played Shibata, I played that game serious. I was, because he came out four minute quarters, chewing clock and running the ball. You know what I'm saying? So I played that game serious. Guess what I got down below in the comment section? Slide. Slow ass motherfucker. Guess what I got down below in the comment section? Damn, bro, you played that game like your life depended on it, bro. Why didn't you play that for content, bro? Why didn't you, like, spice it up make it entertaining, bro? You, like, played that too serious, bro. Like, like you was locked in for that game, bro. Like, play it for content, bro. Like, why don't you try to make the game closer? <laughs> so cool, right? So cool. I play Scan. I'm whooping Scan's ass. Shout out to Scan. I'm whooping Scan's ass. I'm up. What I'm up twenty six to I'm up twenty six to 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 eight at halftime. I'm whooping Scan's ass. I fuck around. You feel me? I got it down to the. I got it down to the end of the end of the game. I had it was a fourth quarter. It was a fourth down play. If I don't get this fourth down play, I lose. I got the fourth down play. I think I be scanning like twenty seven. Uh, I got wide wide open, but I threw that away. 20, what was it, 26 to 28 or some shit like that, I be scanned? Oh, they down below in the comment section now. Scan might be good. Scan, scan had, a, scan had a hell of a game now. Scan's that guy. Scan's the one. Damn, Rain, you barely beat Scan. And it's like, you just you just can't win. You, you can't win. You play for real. You, you play for real, you should have played for content. You play for content, damn, your opponent's good as hell. Then I, before that, I played eyeball. You know what I'm saying? Eyeball. The first game was, first game was crazy versus eyeball. Excuse me, first game was a, was a hell of a game. I'm glad he didn't pick it off. I got X, Y fucking over. First game was a hell of a game. Second game, I kind of, you know what I'm saying, did my thug this one, played. I played well. I ain't going to say I played for real because I played with, for real the first time too, but I played great the second time. and um, Wow. I wanted to throw that, but he stepped out of bounds. Wow. But then I played the kid, and, like, that was like a matchup where, like, nobody even expected her to win, so it was like. It was more of a, it was more of a, just a, I don't even know what type of game that was. It was just a go out there and just, just win type of game. That is a horrible read and that should have been picked off. I got X wide open. I don't even know why X wasn't guarded right there. I should take three, but if X going to be open again, then okay, he's moving this corner down. X is wide open again. <laughs> He did no adjustments, like none, and that's why, I, like that pass he knocked down, it could have been picked off, and it gave me another chance at it, and that's a touchdown. Like this, it's crazy, bro. The defense on this game is crazy. If you don't have pick artists or something like that to actually catch interceptions, it's tough. It's 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 tough. But imagine Ant go out there and play Adam Sandler, and he got his and he got his A's on, like he really dressed. He got his jersey on, like he dressed up like it's the fucking Western Conference Finals, bro. And he hold Adam Sandler to zero points, eleven to zero. What does he prove? What does he get for that? He get any type of cool points. He get any type of you know respect. 
What does he? What does he like? Let's just be for real. What does he gain from that? From beating Adam Sandler. We're not talking about. We're not talking about a, a a Paul Pierce or a Kevin Garnett or somebody who who used to be in the league. Thank you. Fuck. Thank you. We're not talking about a veteran who used to play or anything like that. Nigga, we talking about Adam fucking Sandler, a comedian, a guy that makes movies. Versus an NBA player. A young at that. One of the best at that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was bad. That was bad. But as a content creator, bro, I hate whenever somebody calls me out, bro, and I really don't want to play them. Cause it's like it's like the it's like y'all are try to like force me to play them. Then if I don't now I'm now I'm now I'm now I'm ducking. Now I'm ducking. Play him, bro. Why don't you play him? He called you out, bro. Just because he called me out, that don't mean nothing, bro. That don't mean nothing. If I go call out Henry right now, if I call out Henry right now, Henry has no reason to play me whatsoever. I don't see nothing that Henry can gain from playing me. You know, if, if okay, if Ant play, if Ant play Adam Sandler, what can they get? Views, you know. Um, you know, Adam Sandler's been in all these movies and things like that. He can get views and things like that. But if if I call out Henry right now, what Henry can get from me? I, I I'm a typical Riggs. I ain't gonna say typical Riggs player, but I'm a Riggs player, right? He can get a couple of YouTube views. You feel me? But like, there's nothing he really like. It's not like we plan for no money or nothing like that. It's just I don't I don't know. He don't have to play me. Just because I call him out, he don't have to play me. He could be like, uh, nah, whatever. I mean, and me being a weirdo, or, or somebody being a weirdo might be like, oh, he ducking. He is ducking. He ducking smoke. He ducking. Henry Skinner right? Like, come on. And, and it's like pointless. You know what I'm saying? But I guess this guy created a new account. Thought he was finna go undefeated and ran into the main op. The real main op. He was doing a little thug this way, wasn't he? He didn't create a new account. Could have went six and no real quick. Let's see who. Let's see who. That's who he usually been playing with. Who he been? Who he been? Who he been on, on this account with? Let's see. Bills want to know. Then he said, "Oh, Giants. Oh, 49. Oh, I'm about to say. See, play with the Bills. I'm finna go crazy with the 49ers. And got <clears throat> Molly Walk. But that was a GG, man. Make sure y'all like the video. Comment down below. Let me guys know what y'all think, man. Hey, Black Wayne. Oh, yeah.